In a bid to address the rising number of accidents caused by roadside markets, Ugandan government has taken a decisive step by ordering the eviction of market vendors and transport operations in the areas of Chireka, Bosega, Kalere, Chaliwajal and Lokaya. The directive, which comes into effect immediately, aims to improve road safety and reduce traffic congestion in these locations. Yonora is directed to immediately remove the roadside markets and tax parks that have encroached onto the roads and road reserves. For example, when you go to Busega, will you even pass? When you go to Lukaya, Kareilue, Kamocha, all those areas, you go to Kireka, Chalwajala, you see all those areas. There is a main road, but there is a market inside the main road. Which kind of country are we living in? Despite recent efforts by government to address market issues and streamline the Market Act, there are significant gaps that still exist in the implementation and effectiveness of these measures. Government decision has generated mixed reactions from vendors, transport operators and residents who rely on these markets for their livelihoods. Government yandi badembi. No visible company for the twin anger for us always. I want to to Zimbi and Gaffa to Kizig and his to Kizig and Anna. We welcome government's decision for us to be allocated, but the only problem we have is the new market was not built so well. We cannot refuse leaving this place, but the mode of construction was inappropriate. There would be departments, but as we speak, it's all put together. What a big gun. We don't reject government's decision, but where they prepared us for in this new market, it's a small place that cannot accommodate us. We want the speaker to first come and get to know the number of traders operating on the streets. She will know that the space is not enough. One of the primary objectives of the Market Act 2023 is to establish a clear regulatory framework for market operations across the country. It provides guidelines and procedures for obtaining licenses, ensuring that marketplaces adhere to specified standards of hygiene, safety and quality. This will contribute to the overall improvement of market infrastructure and the well-being of vendors and consumers. Naomi Mtumba, Smart24 TV, Business Today.